Today we are going to create this fun winter collage of a winter mitten and during this lesson we will be talking about patterns, lines, shapes, and colors and we will also be doing a little bit of collage techniques cutting and gluing. I hope you have fun. Let's get started. Okay guys, so for this project, all you really need is some paper, a pencil, a black marker might be nice for outlining of your mitten, some crayons, and some glue and scissors. All right, so pencil and paper, black marker if you have it, some crayons, scissors, and glue. If you have blue paper, like a solid blue paper like this for the background. You can use it or you can just color in your background or leave your background white, that's up to you. I used a blue background, but you can just as easily color the background that will look just as good. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna start with just a plain piece of paper and we're gonna draw the mitten. Okay, make sure my paper's lined up here so you can see it. I'm gonna draw straight with a marker so you can see my lines a little better, but remember you do a pencil, so if you mess up, you can erase. We're gonna start off by drawing the arm coming out. So line, line. Then I'm gonna connect those two lines like that. Then we're gonna draw like the cuff of the sleeve, okay? Like the edge of the sleeve on the cuff. And we're just gonna go loop around for the cuff. If you want to, you can go ahead and start putting in a pattern in that cuff. I just did repeated lines here. Now we're gonna do this part of the mitten, which is the stretchy elastic portion of the mitten that will cause it to stay onto your wrist. So I'm gonna go out, out, connect, and now we're gonna draw the shape of the mitten. To draw the shape of the mitten, I'm gonna go out, kind of like a rainbow arch, and then all the way around, and stop. Oops, shake my camera. And then for right here, I'm gonna go out, curve back in for where the thumb goes in the mitten. Remember to do that with a pencil, that way if you mess up, you can erase it and fix it. So now I have an arm reaching out, hand and a mitten. And I'm just gonna divide this into sections to fill in with my patterns or designs. Now, you can do your patterns and designs with lines, with shapes, with colors. So in this one, I did Red, green, red, green, red, green for a simple AB pattern. It's hard to tell in this part, but I did a dark blue, a light blue, medium blue, dark blue, light blue, medium blue. And this one I just did stripes with green and yellow. And this one I did kind of a diamond pattern, which I'll show you an easy trick on how to do that. And this one I did chevron. And this one I did stripes with hearts on the top. And this one I kind of did a boxed line all the way across with polka dots. So you fill in with any type of patterns or designs that you want. Remember, a pattern is a sequence where you can tell what comes next. You can have a simple AB pattern like red, green, red, green, red, green. You might do stripe, zigzag, loop-de-loop. -loop. Stripe, zigzag, loop-de-loop, -loop, where you have three things repeating in that pattern. All right, you decide what type of patterns you want. Now, this, a uh, diamond pattern that I did is really easy and it turns out cool. What I did is I drew diagonal lines. Diagonal lines are our slanted lines going this way. And then I went back and did diagonal lines going the opposite direction. a diamond pattern. You decide what type of patterns you want inside your mitten 
and then you go through and color it. Remember to, you can use lines, shapes, and colors to make your patterns, okay? Now, after you get it all filled in with patterns and colored, you can resume, but for right now, I want you to pause the video until you get all the mitten filled in with patterns and colored. And when you're done, unpause. Okay, when you get it all filled in and colored, what you're then going to do is you're going to decide whether you want to leave the background white, which is fine, or if you want to color the background blue with maybe adding, before you color the background blue, you could put a few little white dots around to look like snow. And then just leave those white and color the background blue. Or if you have blue paper at home, you can cut it out just right around your edge here and glue it down to the blue paper like this, okay? So pause the video until you get that done. Decide whether or not you're leaving the background white, whether you're going to draw some snowflakes on and color it, or if you're gonna cut it out and glue it to a blue piece of paper. Once you get to this next part, now I'm going to teach you how to make a snowflake. We're gonna glue on a paper snowflake into the hand. Okay, to make the snowflake, I'm gonna put a blue piece of paper down just to have a little contrast color there so you can see what I'm doing. You start off with a piece of paper. There's lots of different ways to make snowflakes, so if you have a different way that you like to make snowflakes, that's fine. I'm just gonna show you how I make mine. I fold a piece of paper in half. After I fold the piece of paper in half, on the folded side here, I'm going to cut out a half of a circle. Many of you have probably made this little technique where you do a half of a heart on Valentine's Day. I'm gonna do a half of a circle. Okay, once I get it like this, I take my two corners here and here, and I'm gonna put them together and crease it. And then I'm going to take this side and this side put them together, make it look like a pie piece, and crease it. Now my bottom's a little crooked because I didn't per cut out a perfect circle, so I'm just gonna trim that up. So it's gonna look like a pie piece here. Do you see the pie piece? Okay, or like a slice of pizza. Now at the bottom here, I'm just gonna cut out a design. If it's easier for you to draw out a design first, you can. I don't usually, but if it's easier for you to take it and draw out the design that you want to cut across the bottom, you can. And then you just cut it out. Any design, it can be a zigzag line or just a organic line like I just did. An organic line is a natural line, kind of like I just did. I didn't really plan it out. It was just natural and free flowing. So now my bottom's all cut out, do you see? Now I have this side and this side. I'm going to cut out a shape from this side. Okay. And now I'm gonna cut out a shape from this side. Now, right here at the tip, I'm just gonna barely cut the tip off so it has a little hole in the middle of the snowflake. If I went too fast, go back and rewind me. Now I'm gonna open it and see what my snowflake looks like. And each one's gonna be different depending on how you cut it. Oh, and I like that. Then I would take it after I had my mitten all colored and I would glue it down right there on the mitten like I have here. And I have a pattern mitten using lines and shapes and colors. And then I've collaged on this snowflake for a fun little winter artwork. I hope you guys enjoyed this. See you later. Bye.